Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Monday.com. Monday.com is one of the best work management platforms around. Whether you are a freelancer, an individual looking to track a small team or a small or large business owner, this is definitely the platform for you. One of the main reasons why I recommend Monday is because it allows you access to numerous features on one platform. For example, you can use it for marketing, you can use it for project management, you can also use it to create sales pipeline and for CRMs, and as I said earlier, you can use it for task management. And it also offers numerous integrations with popular apps. So to get started, you want to go on monday.com. Once on monday.com, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on get started. You can sign up using your email address and they do offer a free plan. In the sign up process, you'll be led to pages just like this. And from here, you can see, hey there, what's brings, what brings you here today? And you can choose whether for work, personal, school, or non-profits. And you can select work. And if you would like to select one of these options, whether you're a freelancer or so on, you can select that. Then you'll tap on continue. And from here, you can choose what you would like to manage. So for example sake, let's say I would like to manage product product management you could select that or if you would like to do sales and CRM you can select that then you will tap on continue then from there I'll simply tap on task management and I'm going to tap on continue and one last question how did you hear about Monday and you can choose whether it was by audio ad on podcast or search engine for this example I'll simply select search engine then tap on continue. After you have done that, you're going to give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, it, pro it creates your Monday dashboard. So just give it a few seconds to load up. Once it loads up, I'll be showing you what to do next. Page on which you can invite your team members if you want by simply adding their email address right here. Then you can choose the different roles that you'd like to assign them to. But at the moment, I'm going to tap on remind me later as I want to be redirected to the dashboard. So you can create your first board. So let's create my first board. It will be called test. Then I'm going to tap on next. After you have done that, let's select the relevant columns for your board. So you can see owner, due date, status. If you'll also like to add budget, for this example, I'll be adding budget. And you can see a layout of how it looks on the right hand column. Then I'm going to tap on next. Select one of the items you'd like to manage. And as I said earlier, projects. So I'm going to select projects, then tap on next. Then add a, a view layout and I'll leave it at table. Then tap on next right there. Then you can see list your projects. I'm going to tap on next, then get started and just give it a few seconds to load up. Load up, you'll be redirected to this dashboard and you can see a template of how you can set up your Monday dashboard or your layout as you can see right here. So to get started, I will tap on new project. Once you have tapped on new project, you could enter the new project name right there if you wanted to, or if you would like to create a new workspace, you could tap on the plus in the top left hand corner and from there you could select new board and you could create a new workspace. For example, I will tap on choose from templates and this is one of the reasons why monday.com is so popular as it provides you with numerous templates that you can use to create different workflows or different CRMs as you can see right here. So for example, you can see your basic CRM and if you would like to select something else, you could tap on marketing from the left hand menu option and you could see email marketing. You can also see creative assets and you can scroll down and you can see the different headings that you could choose from. For example, if you want to create one for project management, 
you could tap on project management and you can see it right there but i'll tap on recommended for you and i'm going to be using one of the recommended ones so for example i can select the basic crm or if i wanted to see more from crms i could tap on sales and crms and you can see the different layouts right there also if you are using freelancers you could tap on freelancers and from there you'll be able to create different work calendars and so on but let's say for example i were to tap on recommended for you then i were to tap on basic crm and you can see the template right here so you can see the template layout all i'll need to do now is tap on use this template once you have tapped on use this template you are going to give it a few seconds meanwhile it creates the dashboard in the background once it has finished creating the dashboard i will be showing you how to add more information to your template or better yet to your dashboard so you can see the basic dashboard right here for our crm so let's tap on the x right there and again from here you'll be able to change the name so you could tap on deal name and you can change it right there you can also edit the contacts and you can add your own contacts by tapping on the plus right there and you can edit the priority by tapping right where you see priority you can choose whether it is a high priority medium priority or low priority so you can basically edit the entire template remember that this is just a template so you can edit it to your liking you can add the deal value you can edit the deal length you can edit all of these features if you want and you can go over to the left hand menu option tap on my contacts and from there you'll be able to add your contacts so you can tap right here where you see new contact and from there you will be able to add your contacts as you can see right there another thing that you could also do if you would like to integrate different platforms you could tap on integrate and from there you could add your contacts from different platforms for example when i tap on integrate you can see the different apps that you have access to so for example if you would like to integrate contacts from asada Jira, Lincoln, Mailchimp, or any one of these platforms, you can do that by simply selecting the platform. And you can integrate and automate using any one of those apps if you want. You can also track the sales this dashboard or the sales that you'll be getting by tapping on sales dashboard from the left hand menu option. And if you would like to share it, you can tap on share in the top right hand corner then from there you can invite individuals by tapping on invite by email or by link and that's basically it and if you like access to even more platforms you can tap on apps in the top right hand corner right here and if you would like to add other team members you can tap on invite members right here and this is also your notification or your inbox you could tap on that and from there you'll be able to see different notifications that you have received and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe